Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to The Walk. Today is Thursday, September 8th, and we are continuing to talk about God's presence, what it's like to be in God's presence, the benefits of God's presence, and things like that. So let's pray. Lord, as we spend this time with you, remind us of the beauty of being in your presence, the restoration that comes when we're in your presence, the, the glory that comes when we're in your presence, the way that it prepares us for our day, prepares us to serve you and glorify you as we go through our day. Lord, help us to keep those God goggles on our face and see those opportunities to tell others about you and share who you are with others. We love you, and all we want to do is glorify you. In Jesus' name, amen. So today we're going to Exodus 33. And this is the scenario in which um, Moses and God are having this conversation. And Moses asks to see God. And I, I didn't take all of the verses where he actually sees God. I just took the ones that kind of um, precede it. It's the conversation that happens before God allows Moses to see him. Now, God explains to him in the verses after this passage that he can't show him his face because his face has so much glory, it wouldn't be safe, you know, and um, that he'll put up his hand and that Moses will be able to see the back of him. But what I really want to point out here is the value of being in his presence. And because we're now in that New Testament time, he's not dwelling in that temple. He is inside of us every time we take that time to focus on him. We've got his word open in front of us. We're praying. We're taking that time to listen. You can have a God moment just about anywhere because we are in this New Testament times and Christ has already died on the cross and rose risen from the dead <clears throat> and we've become filled with the Holy Spirit. So be aware that when you need that refreshing, it can be there any moment and at any time. And as I'm saying this to you, you know, this week, I'm, I was just saying to a friend this morning, I am so tired this week. I'm sleeping great, but I'm having trouble getting up in the morning and that's not like me. But, you know, I know that that refreshing will come exactly when God decides to send it. And I have trust in that. So I'm moving forward. I'm continuing to plug ahead. And I'm spending that extra time with God because I'm waiting on this refreshing. So in Exodus 33, starting in verse 12, this is what it says. Moses said to the Lord, See, you say to me, bring up this people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. Yet you have said, I know you by name, and you have also found favor in my sight. So basically what Moses is saying is, you've told me to take these people. You're not telling me who is going with me. But you have said that you understand who I am, you know me by name, and that I have found favor in your sight. So tell me who this is. Continuing on in verse 13, Moses continues speaking. Now therefore... If I have found favor in your sight, please show me now your ways that I may know you in order to find favor in your sight. Consider too that this nation is your people. This is intercession at its finest. Basically, he is saying, Lord, you've told me that I've found favor in your sight. And if that is true, I need to know what your ways are. I need to know that um, how you work, how you function. And I want to remind you that I have found favor in your sight and these people that I'm leading are your people. Let's see how God responds. And he said, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. God is saying, I am the creator of the universe. I'm the king of kings. I'm the Lord of lords and I am going with you. My presence will be with you. <clears throat> Verse 16. For how shall it be known that I have found favor in your sight, I and your people? Is it not in your going with us so that we are distinct? I and your people and from every other race. Oh, I'm sorry. I skipped a verse. And verse 15 said, and he said to him, this is Moses talking back to God. 
if your presence will not go with me, do not go us, bring us up from here. He's saying, I don't want to move unless I have your presence. For how shall it be that, that I have found favor in your sight and I and your people? Is it not, not in your going with us so that we are distinct, I and your people, from every other people on the face of the earth? So let's break down what Moses is saying here. First of all, he's saying, I don't want to go without you. I want to know I have your presence. And secondly, if we found favor, uh, how if we found favor in your sight, then if you didn't go with us, we wouldn't be distinct. We wouldn't be separate from the other people. We wouldn't be God's holy people. And here's the Lord's response in verse 17. And the Lord said to Moses, this very thing that you have spoken, I will do. For you have found favor in my sight, and I know you by name. Moses said, please show me your glory. And then that whole conversation happens where Moses asks to see God. But here's the bottom line. God says, I will go with you because you've asked me to. I will be with you because you've asked me to. Have you asked him? Have you asked him to be with you throughout your day? Have you asked him to use you to glorify him? Have you asked him to show you how he wants you to serve him? Because that's an essential part of being in God's presence. Ask that his presence be there and be there with you in a mighty way. Have a wonderful day. Oh, I'm sorry. So as you go into your prayer closet, ask him those things. Have a wonderful day. God bless and keep walking the walk.